Nothing better than drinking pale ale and <laughs> walking a hop field. I mean, really, what else is there? Yeah. Uh, it could be just walking a hop field. Yeah. <laughs> Brewer in the beer game. Uh, I'm Bill Manley, I'm product development manager at Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. And I'm Terrence Sullivan, the brewer and field educator. And we're here again doing uh, the Brewer and the Beer Geek podcast. Today we are in a hops field in Moxie, Washington. In the beautiful Yakima <laughs> the Valley. The beautiful Yakima Valley. You can clearly see we're standing amongst the vines here. And these are, uh, you know, obviously grown in the field. It's September. They're just about yeah. getting ready for harvest. It is harvest time. It is harvest time right now. All hops are pretty much harvested in the same way. They'll come through and cut the bottoms of these binds and then come through with uh, another harvester and pull the whole bind down in one shot. Then they take them off to the picker, strip all the flowers off, and then, you know, send them out into the world. Here's the deal. Some hops are dried and then baled and then you know, set for storage all year long. But right now in the harvest season, we can get wet hops right from the fields right. and into a beer. Yep. So wet hop ale is give or take 24 hours from right here, growing in the soil, in the sunshine, sent down to the brewery and into the kettle. 24 hours, they will start to compost. Um, they have too mm -hmm. much moisture to store them. Um, so that's where we, you know, we pick them, they get on that refrigerated truck and as they're coming down, as soon as the driver gets to Across the California border, yep. he rings us up in the brew house, you know, and like the bat phone, you know, and we pick it up. And, hey, yeah, commissioner. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and so we actually start making the beer at that moment because that gives us about two or three hours to get it all mashed in, get that wort mm -hmm. running over to the kettle, and then we can start adding those wet hops and, and yep. start making the Northern Hemisphere Harvest Ale. So we're back. The last time we spoke was a couple of weeks ago. We yeah. were standing in the middle of a green hop field out in Moxie, Washington, in the heart of the Yakima Valley. All those hops have been harvested, sent down to the brewery, tossed right into the kettle, and the result is this year's Northern Hemisphere Harvest Ale. And this beer is spectacular. It is. It's, it's oh. amazing. I mean, we use Cascade hops and Centennials, and Cascades, you know, they impart a kind of uh, piney citrus note, and the Centennials this year were out of this world. Over the top. Yeah, I mean, the, the rose character yeah. that came through out of those hops, and it really shines in this beer. You know, you... You get that also that real resinous mouthfeel from using yeah. whole cone hops and the wet hops. Sure. It really kind of, I mean, this beer is amazing. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the beers that we look forward to every year. It's one of the jewels mm -hmm. in Sierra Nevada's beer portfolio. We were lucky enough to go out to the bottling line and take these guys right off. We pushed King Grossman right out of the way. Out of the way, emergency. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not above trampling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, I mean, these are as fresh as they can possibly be. They're going to be out this fall, yeah. only available for a tiny, tiny limited window. So if you see them, grab them up. They don't yeah. get better with age. You want to drink them as fresh as you can and just go for it. This is textbook wet hop flavor. This is what we do at Sierra Nevada and damn if we don't do it pretty well sometimes. <laughs> pretty good. Check it out. You're going to love it. Cheers. Yes, there are male and female hops. Uh, the male hops are pretty much Good for nothing. We, we, we kill, we kill. <laughs> not, not unlike males of other, yeah, of yeah, other yeah. varieties. Yeah. 